Meow. <sighs> Meow. Good kitten internet. No, I'm not packing. I've just not put back the suitcase. It's empty. Um, so it's later in the day compared to when it should be. Um, I've been editing. I finished editing, but now my computer is going to be rendering for the next forever. Um, last time I looked, it was estimating it over 12 hours. But that's just because there's a chunk toward the start of the video that's running not at 60 frames per second, but more like 6,000 frames per second. I should have told it to drop the actual frame rate, but I forgot to. So, yep. That's fine. It'll eventually finish rendering. It just may be a couple of days late. So I'm just getting back from a walk that is on again, off again, sunny. I'd much prefer it to be overcast so I don't have to wear my stupid hat. And, oh boy, is my body yelling at me. So I think I mentioned in the previous recording that uh, I slept in quite a bit today. Um, I'm not the type of person who sleeps in, ever. If I sleep longer than, like, say, 7.30, 8 in the morning, it either, one, means that I'm going through major amounts of jet lag, or two, I'm sick, slash injured. I slept ten and a half hours, fell asleep at about midnight, woke up at about 10.30 in the morning, um, and wasn't sure why. Now that I'm walking, I'm pretty sure I injured myself yesterday somehow, and I'm not sure how, because my legs are killing me, my feet are killing me, and I haven't walked that much. I mean, I don't know exactly what time it is, but, or how long I've been walking, but I'm pretty sure that was an under half an hour walk, and my legs are just very upset with me. So I'm going to go relax for most of the rest of the day. Sorry, this vlog is probably going to be pretty quick and boring. See you next time. Hi, boo. So I'm feeling a little bit better, although I ended up, after being home for a bit and eating, started getting dizzy. So my body is definitely trying to recover from something. I don't know what, though. Boo Kitty's here, obviously. Oh, yes, yeah, stretch those legs. Yes. It's hard to keep up with her, actually. Good kitty. That is a scratching post, so you are to scratch on it. She's pretty much the only one that... Well, no, not anymore. She used to be the only one that would go onto that little platform. Kitty cat, I can't twist around that fast. I'm sorry. Um, so, that's finally done. Uh, it turns out my vlog from the 8th, uh, took a very long time to do, and even longer to render, and even longer to upload. It's gonna take over 10 hours to upload. Uh... Meow. Yeah, she wants my nose. Hello once more. So, I'm trying out the little selfie stick-like thing that I have. This has no real fanciness to it. All it's got is a button to tell it to stop and start the recording. Uh, we'll see how well this works. It was cheap. And bare minimum, it's another tripod, and I can really use another tripod right about now. Um, hmm. The angle's a little weird on it. So, um, you'll notice that this video is being merged in with yesterday's vlog as well. It's because I had so little in it, I felt bad. Uh, ah, Daystar. And yes, I know I'm not wearing my hat at the moment. Uh, it's, I don't know, what time is it, phone? 1919. So the light's not exactly super bright. I'm not as concerned about getting too much sun on my head. And there's shade everywhere. So, um, <sighs> what's going on? So, 
not a whole lot. I've decided, well, tomorrow is a trip to the vet for racing. Um, I would offer to record part of that, but my vet is still doing curbside drop-off only, which is really obnoxious, by the way, when you don't drive. Ah, so much of this country is based off of the idea that, well, you're going to drive no matter what. And as somebody who doesn't drive, that's not helpful. Hmm. Is it me or is the video more bouncy compared to normal when I'm doing this? And it sort of makes sense. I'm holding out a cantilever. Hmm. I'll have to um, look at the footage when I get back home. One moment. There we go. Apparently the button, if I have music playing prior to me recording, just hits play on the music instead of recording. Whoops. Oh well, I already have to merge video files together. The third video file isn't going to do much. So, um, yeah, it's just a routine checkup plus baby shot and so on for a sin. So, nothing abnormal. My kitties are generally doing fine, although when I put a sin into his room right before I left, um, looks like he had a bit of a hairball incident, but cat's going to hairball. It's not like it's that common. Um, let's see. It is a beautiful day outside. I believe today's high was only 25 degrees, which uh, in Fahrenheit, that's 78. This is perfectly fine weather. Very abnormal for June. It's usually a little more warm than this. I am certainly not complaining. Unfortunately, later on this week, it's going to get warmer. <sighs> um, let's see. This is a lot less exhausting for me holding up the what's basically a tripod rather than holding up a selfie stick, but it's a lot easier for me to do this than having to hold my hand out constantly and hold the camera and uh, probably should have gotten one of these earlier. I mean, this cost, what, nine US dollars? I, that's part of the reason why I decided against going for the gimbal mount because it's like, well, the gimbal's going to cost 70-ish dollars. The tripod will cost me nine. And if I decide that I don't want to use the gimbal, I'm stuck with it. Whereas if I don't want to use the tripod as a selfie stick, I just use it as a tripod. I was already looking at buying one anyway. Um, let's see. What else? Um... I've decided that my job hunt will actually be starting tomorrow. I'm going to be getting in contact with a series of recruiters. Just doing the initial, hey look, let's talk, I'm on the job market, I want something awesome, what can you do for me? I'm not exactly expecting all that much from this, because I'm being extremely picky right now. I brought my sunglasses. You can tell from the uh, screen fading in and out. I mean, maybe? I don't know if it's recording that way or not, or if it just appears that way. But the light randomly hits my face, and yeah. Um, what else? Played XCOM today. It's always nice. Uh, yeah, not really all that much. I'm feeling better than I did yesterday, at least. I did have another dizzy spell this morning, but that was the last that I felt of it. I also slept a full nine hours this morning, so less than yesterday. Still a lot. Um, hmm. Here's the thing. I don't really do all that much on a day-to-day -day basis, especially now that I'm not working. It's kind of boring. And after the utter disaster of the past year and a half, boring can be good. For the most part. Wind. Um, the downside with boring for me is that that's actually when my brain starts having problems. I do have a therapist appointment next, this coming week. Um, what else? 
Uh, not really much else. Like I said, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about already, and it's not even halfway through the month. Oh, um, at least as of this recording, my vlog for the 8th is still processing in YouTube. Uh, it's processed the 320p version, still hasn't processed the thumbnail, never mind anything above 320p. And given how much work that I put into that, yeah, no, I'm not really seeing it until it at least finishes processing 1080p. So there's a chance that this video will actually come out before that one even. This is ridiculous. What's today, the 11th? What do you say, phone? What is today? Yeah, today's the 11th. So, yeah. That's gonna be fun. Um, hmm. Ooh, that's pretty. These flowers right here. I like looking at pretty things. Little butterfly garden type place. Nice. Very nice. Um, oh, um, to give you an update on the saga of the missing faucet handle for all, like, one person who cares about it, uh, we have working bathtub faucet handles again. Same plumber came out. We still have no idea what in the world happened to the other one, but they've been replaced. I still haven't received a bill. So, uh, we'll find out if they charged me for five or six hours rather than the 45 minutes that it actually took to do the real work. Hmm. Let me adjust this a little bit. I think... This might be better. Well, it's a little more natural to hold, at least. <sighs> what else? I'm just kind of walking around. It's nice outside. I felt like walking. Haven't been out today. Um... For some reason, I've spent a good chunk of the day watching videos about keyboards. I really hope I don't end up picking up mechanical keyboards as a hobby. I mean, yes, I use a mechanical keyboard. You can frequently hear me typing on them whenever I'm gaming. Although, I do plan on swapping keyboards back and forth for gaming that requires a keyboard versus me wanting to type normally. But I am not really in the hobbyist level of mechanical keyboards. To give you an idea, the most expensive keyboard that I have... Oh, ooh, bunny. See the bunny? I don't want to scare the bunny. Bunny. Actually, it looks like a very young one, too. Oh. Oh. It's okay, bunny. I'll cross the road. So you don't have to. I don't like stressing them out. Look to be fairly young. Um, what was this thing? Oh, right. Um, the most expensive mechanical keyboard that I have... Or... The most money that I have spent on purchasing a mechanical keyboard there's a reason why I'm phrasing it that way, is probably 30 US dollars, which is actually less than I've spent on other keyboards. However, I have spent a decent amount of money on replacing keycaps for a keyboard. That was 25 US dollars to replace the keycaps on a 20 US dollar keyboard. The reason for that is that the keycaps on my old keyboard were wearing out it was all 
disgusting feeling. And I actually really like that keyboard. Even though it's the cheapest one that I've bought. Um, the most expensive mechanical keyboard I own is an original IBM Model M. But that was free. With the computer that it came with. Uh, which I also got for free. That was a gift. I feel really bad about not having it anymore. Holy crap, that was such a waste. Uh, it was at my mother's house, and... Well, there was a warning sticker on it saying, Warning, it's 45 kilograms. It was a... What? That would have been an... IBM branded 386 Surfer. So, it was very tall, very heavy, had a handle on the top, very sturdy handle. Came with that keyboard and a mouse that I'm pretty sure is long since gone. If I would have gotten my mom to hold on to it and tried to sell it today, I probably would get about $1,000 for it because it was fully working, completely clean. I know because I cleaned it out. And, well, it worked really well for what it was. But I had no way of moving it myself. This was while I was still in college. The shipping alone would have cost me several hundred dollars and... Well, I don't drive, so I wasn't exactly driving it up to college with me or anything, or even immediately after college. So I told my mom to get rid of it, but I'd keep the keyboard. Anyway, um, I had started looking into getting a new mechanical keyboard recently, because, well, my old one of my old ones died, and it was beyond warranty. It was a cheapo keyboard anyway, it was 30 bucks and started looking into, okay, what features do I want in a keyboard? And that's the rabbit hole that I should have avoided. Um, to give people an idea on how deep the mechanical keyboard hobbyist layers go, um, a relatively cheap mechanical keyboard, one that's been praised around the internet as being high quality at, for a very good price, very cheap price, the base is $100. Now, what I mean by base is literally the base of the keyboard. No keycaps, no key switches, just the base. And that's cheap. I've seen four or five hundred dollar keyboards that are not considered super duper premium. They're not, hey look, you're throwing lots and lots of money after things. They're just expensive. I don't like hobbies costing that much. It's bad enough I have videography and photography as hobbies, but luckily those are I buy it once and use it for a decade. <sighs> Technically, YouTube is actually the most expensive hobby that I've had outside of computers. And computers are a mixture of hobby and professional, in my case, since, well, kind of worked on computers for a living. Kind of need home setups capable of handling things capable of testing things out, because employers are not usually keen to allow you to take home their shinies. And sometimes it's better to test things out at home rather than at a workplace. Anyway, um, the longer I started researching mechanical keyboards, the more I felt like, ooh, I'd really like to do this and get a really nice keyboard and get the key switches that I want, and maybe try out some additional key switches that I've never tried. I like clicky ones, but maybe there's a tactile one that I like better now, and... Oh! Danger of hobbies. Okay, I think I've done recording for a bit. Bye, Internet. Hope you've had a good kitten today.